physical sight of HD also makes it difficult to do things that we enjoy and it also makes it difficult to do things that we take for granted. Uh, things we enjoy can be hobbies that perhaps the person can no longer participate in. Uh, it could be swimming, could be football, could be tennis, or it could be simple things that we take for granted like having a shower, getting washed and dressed by ourselves. It's important that we protect a person in terms of dignity and we're kind when people need help with washing and dressing. Not everybody feels comfortable to help another person and their family with getting washed and dressed, but if you feel comfortable and they're comfortable, there's no reason why you can't help them. Sometimes it's about being safe in terms of having a shower or a bath, in terms of having someone in the house to know that they're safe in case they fall. And sometimes it's the physical aspects of washing parts of their body they can't reach or can't manage any longer. Sometimes it's, it's like having someone to wash their hair for them is really helpful. You need to find out what it is your loved one struggles with so that you can tailor the support to help them at the right time. A person with HD can struggle with little buttons or zips, eh, so tend to wear comfortable clothing that's easy to put on. Or they might ask family members to help them with a the little button so they can get dressed eh, quickly. It takes much longer to do things when you've got Huntington's. It takes longer, so they need a lot of patience and a lot of understanding. Sometimes a person with Huntington's finds it difficult to get to places quickly. And um, because their brain it works differently, the warning that they need the toilet can often be delayed and the time they take to reach it uh, can take longer than it would you or I. This sometimes means they have accidents uh, before they get to the toilet or whilst they're still in bed. If you feel comfortable supporting them with that, that's great. But if not, ask someone else to help them because they're going to need help to deal with that situation. And just be kind and reassuring them that it's not a big deal. It's part of the disease and they can't help it.